Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 90 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about rec tasks theoretically. We just got to know that what are rec tasks and by some examples, we also tried to understand that when we can use rec task in a Rails application or when we should actually use the rec task in a Rails application. Okay. Now in this lecture, we will learn how to create a rec task in a Rails application. So there are two ways to create a rec task. Okay. So first way is writing a rec task from scratch. Okay. Just like controllers or other helper clip files, you can create your custom rec task from the scratch. Okay. And just like controllers, you can also use Rails generators to generate a rec task and then you can write your logic there. Okay. Either way is fine, but we will look at the both ways. But I just wanted to let you know that I am going to split this lecture in two parts. In this part, we will see how to write rec task from scratch. And in another part of this lecture, we will see how to create a rec task using Rails generator. Okay. So let's see how to write a rec task from scratch. So to write the rec task from scratch, just open your project folder. Here you can see that I am in the project folder. Okay, so to create a rec task from sketch, you first need to create a file inside the lib task directory that you can see below the db directory. We have a lib directory and inside that lib we have a task directory. Okay, and we need to write, provide the dot rec extension to our task file name. Okay, yes, even though rec task is a pure, pure Ruby code, but still you need to add dot rec extension rather than usual dot rv extension. Okay, but and also to create a before creating a rec task i just wanted to explain you something that uh, a rec task always start with a namespace and within a namespace you can define as many as tasks as you need okay and each task can have a description however this is not necessary okay so let's create a simple rec task from scratch but the question is that what to the name we will provide our rec task okay so we will create a since we are just trying to understand that how to create a rec task okay in ruby so we will just name our rec task as example task okay so let's create an example task inside your lib task directory create a new file here okay and name this file as save the file and name this file as example task dot rec okay and this will create a new file okay now in this task what you need to do that as we discussed right now that a rec task always start with a namespace so you need to provide a namespace here okay and this the namespace must be the file name okay example task okay and let's make do block here okay and in this block what you need to do now that you need to add a description for the task and you can add description using desc keyword and here you can provide a description to your task okay since we will just greet uh, we will just print a greet message on the terminal so we can write a description like uh, greeting message task okay now since we added this description now it's time to add our first rig task here so you can add task like this task and your task name greet the user okay and then you need to write environment do and in this block you need to write your task logic whatever you want to perform okay since we are just uh, displaying a greeting message here so we will just execute the ruby puts command okay or ruby puts a statement to display a greeting message on the terminal but if you want to perform some transactional queries here or if you want to perform some operations here then you can definitely right here okay so let's display a puts message here and your message can be like uh, hello user welcome to the required okay and let's close it now we just created our rig task okay it's time to run this task okay but how you can run your task let me show you here that you can run the migration task like rails db migrate okay so here you can consider that db is your namespace and migrate is your task name okay so similarly what we can run that to execute our custom task that rails and example task colon our task name will be 
greeting message not greeting message it will be greet the user okay so this is how you can perform your rake task so now let's run this task on the terminal okay so just copy this i just write this to show an example save the file now and run this task on the terminal just paste it here you can see rails example task colon greet the user okay and when you hit the enter you can see that this has displayed hello user welcome to the rake word it means our rake task has worked okay now as i show as i mentioned that we can add as many as tasks inside a single name space okay we let's try to add another task into the example task name space we can add task here like task and now this time you can write let's say say by to user and here just use environment and write the block here and just like greeting message we will just use the puts statement here you can write the message like puts hello user it is the time to sign off now please try this rake task at your end let me correct this typo let's say try okay and it's time to sign off save the file okay and run the task in the same fashion okay but just change your task name okay here you can run it like just paste your task name here rails example task say by to user okay so and when you run this task you will see some error okay there is some error i just made the type of mistake here let's make it task and save it now okay and run the task again and when you run this task now you will definitely get some message here okay yeah so hello user it is the time to sign off now please try this rake task at your end okay so this is the example how you can write a rake task from scratch and run the task to perform the required operation okay let's see again the rake task okay so just remember that a rake task always start with the a name space and a description for the task here you can see that i just added the description for the first task that is greet the user but not for the second task that is say bye to user okay so description is not required or mandatory for a task okay you can skip that but better if you can write description for your task but if it is very simple and uh, clearly understand by the logic then you can skip writing description as well but if uh, your task performing some complex logic then you must add some description for the task as well okay so in short description is not necessary and then you can write your task like task keyword and then provide the task name and you can use environment then okay this is how you can perform your uh, you can write your rec task okay so this is a very simple example but i am sure this will definitely give you an idea about how to write your own task okay now there will be another part of this lecture where we will create a rake task using rails generator and in that task we will perform some queries to give you more better idea about writing the transactional callbacks or writing the transactional task sorry but till then try this simple rake task from scratch at your end and let me know if you feel any doubt or have any queries for this example task or anything about the rake task throw the comment section i will be glad to help you okay so thanks for watching this part and let's meet into the another part of this lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe